Hi, today we're going to have a look at PayHip and what you can use it for and how much it will cost you and how to get your account started. So if you look at the features, you can sell digital downloads, online courses or memberships. So you can sell physical products as well, but it's actually more designed for digital stuff, things like ebooks. And then if we look at the pricing, it's actually free to have an account. Um, so you've got the free forever, zero dollars a month, but you have a 5% transaction fee on any sales that you make. And PayPal or Stripe will also charge their normal transaction fee. Now, if you start to get a lot more sales, then you can go to the plus account where you will pay $29 a month, but you will have 2% transaction fee. So you can work out and see which options going to be better for you. And then if you increase your sales so much that you're paying $99 a month for more in transaction fees, then you can go to the pro account and pay for this and you'll get no transaction fee. So it's still a really good deal compared with other websites where you pay and then still have transaction fees. And so to get started, if you go to get started for free or sign up for free, click on one of those and then it will ask you for um, an email address and a password. So I'll get those set up. So once you've entered those, it will bring you to this page where you enter a name or a business name. So I'll try those and see if it's available. And then it asks you what you want your store username to be. So I'll just leave it the same. It says that one's taken. So I'll just chuck some numbers in and hope that that works. So obviously for this, you'll put in a bit more thought to what you want your store username to be. And then it comes to the dashboard page. So down here, you will see it's got some essential things and it takes you through what you need to do to get started. So we'll go down first to add your first product. So we'll click on that and the pop-up comes up and you click again. So now here you've got digital, physical, course or a coaching service. So you can choose which one of those you want to add. And I'll show you how to do this in a different video. Then you've got, if we go back to your dashboard... It asks you to set up a checkout. So for this, we will do this. And you have to connect your PayPal or your Stripe account. So, but to sell a membership, you do need to have a Stripe account connected. So I'm just going to go ahead and set up both of these. So when you click on them, it will ask you to enter your email address. So I'll do those and come back. So once you've entered in your login details for your PayPal account, it will bring you to this page. So you just have a read through that and then click on agree and connect and then it will take you back to your PayHip account. Okay, so it didn't work because I've already got my PayPal account linked to another PayHip account but it shows you how to do it and then for the accept payments with Stripe you just do the same click on it and then you can either connect your account or if you don't have an account you can sign up for Stripe and then you um, choose which currency you want so I'm actually in New Zealand but I choose to do everything in US dollars just because it's the most common currency for worldwide and then here you choose um, what you want to go on your statement. So this is what your customers will see when they make a purchase from you. So we'll just put demo account and then you save your settings. Then along here you've got a few other things that you can look at. You've got your billing and invoices. 
so this just um, shows you what plan you're on and how much you pay you've got your taxes your shipping so in um, a physical product you can put in your storage um, and tax rates and stuff like that um, and whether you include the taxes within the product price or if they to be added on separately um, oh sorry that was for the taxes for the shipping Yet, yeah, so this part is just for physical products. So, like I said, this website's actually a lot better for digital products. Then we've got the advanced settings. So, you can choose to um, put the email on the top left page of your PDF files to protect them. Um, whether you want a notification every time you sell something um, and other things you can do a download limit and how many units you've got um, and yeah just all things like that so you can have a look through there and then it's got your login settings your developer and then if we go here to your account settings so that's just another way you can get to this um your store builder so this takes you through it's a very basic website so you can't do a huge amount with this like you can with some other stores like shopify and that but this is a lot you won't be able to do much with this until you've got your first product but it's all pretty basic i'll go ahead and chuck in one product so that i can come back and show you how to do it so this is how your store builder will look once you've got a couple of collections and a couple of products in so i will show you in another video how to add the products this one's just more for how to set everything up so here you've got a few things you've got your about me section which is where you can edit this part down here you can change the writing you can change a photo and you can add um, social media posts in as well so here we'll go into the header account and this is where you can change the view so you can put in a store logo if you don't have one it will just have the name um, navigation links so this is um, for your shop and contact you can make some changes to that your header settings so you can change your header layout so you can look at each of these and when you change them it will move this pose around so you can pick which one you like and then you just um, choose that layout and save it um, down here you've got other things which you can if you want your head on full width from um, vertical pad angle stuff like that so you can have a play around with them and see how you want it to look you've got the announcement bar so you can show an announcement to your customers um, or then you can go back to the main page you can add um, collections here and yeah that's pretty much it so you can have a play around and decide how you want it to look um, like I said have a look at my other videos for how to add products and stuff like that and I hope this was useful to you Sorry, just one last thing. Um, so any changes you make, you will see them here, but they won't actually go live to your website until you hit publish. So as soon as you hit publish, any changes you've made will go to your um, live website and then you can click on visit your site either like that or from the store build you can go to preview and that will open up the same one and then it will open up and this is the live website where people can actually come and buy stuff i hope that was helpful thank you